Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Origins 2017. I'm sitting down with Lance Meister, Meister. <laughs> from Tasty Mitchell Games, and you've bought us the newly reboxed Jiraku. So some of you may be like, wait a minute, I remember seeing this before. Yes, yes. Uh, that was that was the Mo Ideas uh, version. That is from uh, uh, the Asia. Uh, I think it's Taiwan, right? I think so. Yes. Yeah, Taiwan. Um, so, uh, and I actually own that. It is a larger box. Uh, I remember I was at uh, BGG Con. Oh man, I think it was. 2015. Uh, and somebody said, "Hey, have you heard of Jiraku?" And I saw it on the. Uh, yeah, because I wasn't working for KMG yet at that time. And somebody pointed it out, and they're like, "That's trick-taking area control." And I was like, "What? <laughs> trick-taking area control?" We just sum work? up that game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was just like, hey, so I, gotta, "I gotta try that out." You know, trick-taking area control. And I and I and so I bought it. I, basically, I had three or four people say you got to get a copy, and then I think Fun Again had copies, and so yeah. I, I bought it for forty bucks. Um, and so I, it was a larger box, and definitely there was air in it. You know, like it had a little more than it had to. But I mean, ultimately, very quickly, yes, it is. It is trick taking. Um, it, it, you have suits. You're going to have a hand of cards. You're going to play, and you're going to be trying, trying to take and tricks. So you laid out a couple. Yeah. Along the and, bottom and here. And so, and, but the big thing is, is that you, obviously we have you know like our, our our areas that we're trying to control. And, and you, you, as the game progresses, you're going to be playing. So, as you can see, like, um, certain spots are going to be worth points uh, at different times. So, like, you notice that, like, if you're in third here, you know, like, they're worth a lot of money, a lot of points here. And then if reverse you're in reverse. And so, as the game progresses at the very beginning, like, being first in some places is going to be worth lots of points. But as the game progresses later on, you know, being last is going to be worth. So, you, when you get your hand of cards, you're trying to decide... You know, how are you going to use those cards for these different tricks? So it isn't just straight trick taking, like you yeah. know, and, and trick taking obviously is a, is is, a, is something we've all played those games. You know, we we watched our like I call them lake cabin games because like when it's raining and you're <laughs> at the lake and you got nothing to do, like you get out that old deck of cards that have been shuffled eight million times, they're falling apart, and you sit down and you play hearts or spades or something like that, and you and you and you and you pass the time. And so the great thing about trick taking games is that everybody knows how to play. I mean, the, the fundamental of the trick taking game is there, but you have to kind of spin it a little bit. And so now, since, you know, you, you not only, you, you like, but your reward for, for, you know, for how you do as you, with, with the trick-taking game is being able to place your cubes on, onto, like, the different areas of the board and, and having area control, but you have to figure out, like, at certain points, when do you want to do well and when do you not want to do well and things like that. And so it is a very, very clever game. And the cool thing about this is that, yes, it, it used to be in this big box and we've condensed it. And um, I've had... Like tons of people like tell me that it's like it's like a thinking person's game, and it, like there's a lot of long-term strategy ideas when you get your cards and how you're gonna play them. And for 20 bucks, and for an hour. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, yeah. I, I tend to think it likes about 45 minutes, but obviously teaching it and getting used to it. And it's also one of those games. And I think one of the cool things about trick-taking games is, is that um, you you know, there's lots of games you play, you kind of figure out the puzzle, right? And you just kind of. But, but with trick-taking games. Your hand is your puzzle. It's gonna, your hand's gonna be different every single time, and then how you're gonna play it against the others. Against yeah. the others, and so it's a game that um, I also, when I before I worked for TMG, I, I worked at a, at a large service center for a bank, and uh, I always had a box of games or a bag of games that I brought with me that I play over lunch with my friends, and like my copy of this was always in there because it was something I could teach in five minutes and we could sit down and play it. And, uh, and now we've even condensed the box even more. And it's awesome. It's so three to four players, so um, you know. It, you, you, because obviously it's tough to have a trick-taking game with two people. Right, but it is nice that it ramps down to three, which yeah, is yeah. not true of all trick-taking games. There you games, go. So, so uh, th and this one is soft releasing here at Origins, but it should be uh, everywhere very, very soon. So, well, fantastic! If you guys want to check that out, that is Jiraku, which is now published by TC Menstrual Games.